on the third day of anti muslim rights happening in northeast delhi uh, we are here with some of the families who have been rescued from shiv uh, we have from uh, northeast delhi they were uh, hiding in a hindu family's house because of the uh, because of the uh, fringe groups the, uh, who was uh, attacking all the uh, muslim families in the surrounding and we are with them they were rescued by uh, some of the uh, uh, volunteers uh, and uh, civil societies who who, uh, who went today and rescued them and right after when they were rescued from this hindu family when they came to know that uh, they were hiding in this uh, family this family who hid them uh, have been targeted by other groups and uh, we'll know about it from uh, the first hand perspective aapka naam pata hai seema 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 kya hua wo mere ghar mein aag laga di jala diya sab kab tak hua ye ab ye to mujhe pata nahi kitni der kara 5 baje kareeb kara hai दो दिन पहले तो क्या हुआ उधर आप शिवना शिव विहार में क्या हो रहे हैं अभी शिव विहार का तो मुझे पता नहीं है वो बस हमारा घर जला दिया वो ही बस मुझे तो उसकी तो याद आप किसका घर पे हैं दो दिन दो दिन मैं अपने पड़ोस के घर में रहेगी वो कौन है आपको पता है नहीं मुझे नहीं मालूम है हाँ so uh, th- these are the families who have been rescued for, uh, uh, by civil societies and, and uh, rescue groups and uh, who have come from uh, all around uh, delhi and and they have uh, uh, these groups have uh, are telling that more and more uh, families and more and more uh, muslims have been uh, trap around uh, north east delhi we have uh, asif mustafa with us he was uh, he's coordinating with the rescue groups uh, asif what's happening right now actually uh, right now we are at zafarabad so in the evening i got a call from one of my friends that some families in shivihar so shivihar has become an ap center of the rights for uh, like there has been intermittent but like kind of rights going on for continuous for the past two days so then i coordinated with one of my jcp friend uh, he coordinated with the local uh, sochos of karawal nagar thana and zafarabad thana so since uh, the gullies are narrow and the gullies are full of uh, gangs of people who are masquerading at the roads and they are like uh, armed persons like in a group of 50 60 so it was very tough to to pursue the policemen Uh, because when i went to the th- look, nearby thana they was telling us in cm is coming they don't have any policeman in spare but luckily with the help of uh, one of my friend uh, finally we got uh, three policemen one from the zafarabad thana and two from the karawal nagar so we went there and with the help of those policemen we got them rescued so just so like uh, when you reached at the place hmm. w- w- what is the situation like w- w- you would have traveled through <coughs> this gullies yes. and Uh, how can you describe it if if i describe my journey so at both side of the road you could see l- l- like hundreds of vehicle torched uh even some barber shops chair and all all these furnitures have been put uh, to the road and burnt uh then you can see about like the the gangs of people uh, roaming on the streets freely in a group of 50 60 uh, maybe looking for the next target so it's very unsafe there is it's, it's very pathetic and shameful that this the third day but still the violence seems little unabated but not at all completely controlled off by the police uh, uh since uh, yesterday uh, the the police have been telling that uh, things are under control but fresh reports of violence have been reported from mustafabad uh, shiv vihar and we right now got the first hand account of people in uh, shiv vihar that no policemen have been reached out to these people it's the civil society it's the uh, uh, other communities who have been helping each other over there it's a big failure from the police and the uh, administration that till now people are stuck with the writing happening uh, in these parts uh, this is shahin abdullah with uh, shakib reporting for maktoob